Hello everyone, this is Blade Bananas. How's it going? Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to showcase a team that uh, did really well for us last season. Um, in season 6, we were able to climb um, extremely high to the front page of the leaderboard with this team of uh, Obstagoon lead, Gengar safe swap, and the Slowbro as a finisher. Um, as you might have noticed, this team has a double weakness to Dark type in the back. So you definitely want to aggressively swap out a lot of times um, in order to bait out a, a dark type Pokemon that they might have in the back. Uh, but I think this team um, was really good before all the XL Pokemon got introduced. But I decided to play with this team uh, a little bit today and we ended up getting a 5-0. We ended up going positive overall but um, I think this team still has a little bit of weakness against a lot of the XL Pokemon that we're going to see. Um, but I, overall, I think it's still a very fun team to play with. And uh, Slowbro is a very fun Pokemon to use. Um, and it's very tanky if you are able to have enough XL candy to max out a um, XL uh, Slowpoke. Um, Slowbro. Unfortunately, I don't have enough XL candies or dust, so I just go with uh, my near Hondo uh, Slowbro. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the battles. I think I actually got the 5 0. Sorry, my bad. Uh, 5 Bro. It's a 5 Bro, guys. It's not a 5 0. Uh, we got the 5 Bro in the very first set that we played. And then we just went uh, pretty much even throughout the day with the uh, 3 2s and 2 uh, 3s. So here, we had a very good lead against Snorlax. Uh, they safe swap into their own Gengar. This is still very good for us, so we don't need to swap out at all. All we have to do is get two nice slashes off uh, in order to finish off this Gengar. Right. Um, I could actually build up to one more. I could build up to one... Uh, actually, two more. Uh, yeah, I could actually build up to two more counters, but I decided to throw right away because I want the switch clock uh, I want his switch clock to not be back up right away. They're going to Venusaur. I'm going to go into my Slowbro right away. Because I actually have two counters in the back for this uh, Venusaur. Uh, Slowbro is okay. A decent response to a Venusaur. It's a... Uh, as long as you have shields, it's good for Slowbro. But my Gengar is obviously very good against a Venusaur, right? Um, we resist the Frenzy Plant. So I go into the... Um, the Slowbro, and also Snorlax beats my backline, so I have to get the Snorlax out of here. Um, I have to beat the Snorlax with my Obstacle, so that's why. Uh, you want to aggressively swap to bait this uh, Snorlax out. Uh, here the Snorlax gets to a move. I believe I will shield once. Yeah, because they're down a shield as well, and I don't really need a lot of shields to... Um, I don't need shields to beat this Venusaur. They threw energy as well, so this is pretty much over because uh, we should be able to outpace this uh, Venusaur to a Frenzy Plant and also uh, we survive a Frenzy Plant actually. Um, so I'm going to shield the first one. If they get to another one, then um, it will not KO, so I'm just going to farm this uh, Venusaur all the way down. Could have... Uh, I could have thrown the Shadow Punch, I guess, um, to win the CMP tie, but we're gonna farm it down and then get to the Sludge Bomb to KO this um, Snorlax. So, good game, well played. Um, kind of close game. Uh, next up, we have Obstagoon versus Lapras. Again, very good lead. Um, my opponent actually stays in, so this tells us um, he probably has some something weak to a Obstagoon in the back as well. It's actually very common because um, if, if they have something, um, if they have like a, a, a psychic type and then they have a tank in the lead, it's very likely that they're double weak to a Obstagoon, right? So this is the power of Obstagoon. Um, it's a core breaker for a lot of teams. Um, a very niche pick, but it's also not safe. As you can see there, my opponent tried to snipe down my obstacle. So you have to be very, very fast to the swap. Because two counters will take down the obstacle. Once you see that fighter coming, you have to go into your slow bro right away. And then you can confusion all the way down uh, the Machamp. Um, and now you have a lot of energy. Um, that is a strategy a lot of people like to use. 
They actually come out with the Lapras here, and I'm just going to farm it all the way down. Uh, so now I'm close to two moves, and my opponent just gives up after that. Uh, here we have Obstacle against Venus. Well, really, not a good lead. I like to just swap out into my Slowbro right away. Um, they actually have a Swampert in the back. So I could get back Switch Advantage if I shield an Earthquake, I think. But I let the Earthquake go. It does so much damage. Um, I'm going to go for this uh, Psychic. We do get a shield, so it's not the worst thing because uh, we do get a shield advantage from my opponent here. Um, I think I'm just going to let my Slowbro go down at this point, which is fine. Because uh, Swampert is actually a, a very hard counter to my Gengar, right? So I'm just glad that the, um, the Swampert is gone. Um, I'm going to take out the Swampert with my Obstagoon. Oh, and also we are running Hyper Beam on the Obstagoon. Which is uh, debatable. I think uh, Cross Chop might be a little better. It's more flexible. But Hyper Beam is also good to uh, when shields are down, right? So um, here they go into a Venusaur, uh, take out my obstacle. I have two shields. I was just going to two shield my Gengar, anyways, and hope that the Gengar can finish off this game. I actually have Sludge Bomb, I think. But in the later videos, I, I think I actually changed my Sludge Bomb to a um, Shadow Ball. Uh, just for the Swampert matchup, I think. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, here, we got off the last shield with the Sludge Bomb. We just went for two Sludge Bombs right away to take out the Gyarados. And now we have to get to the Sludge Bomb in order to KO. Can we get to it? We do get to it with one HP. Um, I think one more Vine Whips will take us out right here. So very lucky that we were able to get to the Sludge Bomb and take out this uh, Venusaur. Good game, well played to my opponent. Very close game, so that was just basically two shield Gengar doing work. Here, Obama Snow lead, very good lead. We're gonna stay in. Um, it's not the best in the one shield or in the zero shield because the Obama Snow will chip down a um, uh, obstacle. They actually went, they tried to snipe me down again with the Shadow Mid Champ. Um, this is something that you have to keep in mind of. Whenever you see a lead that's weak to Obstagoon, they really like to do this. They chip you down and then they go into a fighter. So you have to be super fast to a uh, swap if they go into a fighter. If they go into a Toxic Rogue or a Machamp, you have to swap into your Slowbro right away. And then you can just confuse it all the way down. And you get a lot of energy. Here we're against Togekiss. Um, and my Gengar is a very good response against their, this uh, Togekiss. Unless they get a boost. If they get a boost, it would be pretty bad. Uh, they come out the... Uh, uh, what is it? Um, sorry, Obama Snow. And I'm just going to go for the Sludge Bomb. Because um, they only have one shield, right? I just need to take out that shield. And um, it's very unlikely my opponent shields anyways. Because they probably want to save the shield for the Togekiss. Um, and the Obama Snow was weak to my Obstagoon. So they probably just wanted to let it go down. And at this point... Um, we should take out that uh, Togekiss as well with no problem with my Gengar. So good game to my opponent. Here we have Obstagoon versus a Politoed. Um, very neutral matchup. Politoed XL is an absolute beast. It's very tanky and it gets to those uh, weather ball super super fast just like Great League. It's like playing Great League all over again, right? Um, that's pretty much the, how I feel about Ultra League Premier Cup at the moment because we do see a lot of XL Pokemon that are um, that we see in Great League as well but it, it is what it is um, here we get a boost so I think Obstagoon should actually win this matchup um, generally and they actually come up with a Galvantula and Galvantula is very tough for this team because it beats my Obstagoon and beats my um, Slowbro and Gengar it can still do a lot of damage so I think I'm gonna call this bait or okay I'm gonna shield I think this this is a bait they they really like to go for the lunge baits um, they sneak in a, a full switch here which is not great uh, I think I might just two shield my Gengar oh, I'm gonna throw this to force the CMP tie um, to get their last shield or I do to get their last shield so now I'm just gonna uh, double shield oh I actually let it go down I'm calling a bait and it was another lunge. Um, and then they go into the Politoed. 
I think I was fine letting it go down and just farming down with my um uh, with my Slowbro. But they come out with Politoed, finish off my Gengar, and now I'm gonna farm all the way down. They have to get they will get to an earthquake. Um it will do a lot of damage. But we're gonna get all this energy, right? Which is totally fine with me. Uh we get a lot of energy here. And they had a Skarmory in the back, so uh, this is a little tricky. Fortunately, we do have a uh, water pulse. It would be nice if we were playing Slow King, uh, because Slow King has access to Fire Blast. My opponent made a failed Sack Swap, which is um, what arguably won me this game, because I don't really have a good response at this point. We do still have a shield here, fortunately, so now we just need to go into my Obstagoon. Uh, we landed two water pulses to chip down the Skarmory, and uh, White Knight Slash should be able to KO. I think this was, this was a CMP tie as well. Uh, very, very close game. So, yeah, good game to my opponent. Nice attempt on the um, uh, Sack Swap, but unfortunately it actually uh, won us the game. So as you can see, I got a 5-0. Very nice in the very first uh, set. And then I just went uh, pretty much even throughout the day. I was seeing a lot of Galvantula leads that I really can't handle um, with this team. But let's see how we play here. Uh, I think we were able to take the Galvantula win earlier on because uh, because they had it as a um, in the back instead of in the lead. But as you guys are going to see, when they're in the lead, it's going to be very, very tough for us to handle. Um, here, we tried to catch a water, t water tail. But my opponent didn't throw the Aqua Tail. They actually went for the Outrage, so I had to shield my slow bro. And now I think I'm gonna try to farm this uh, Gyarados all the way down. And they weren't able to get to another um, Outrage, which is good for us. Um, and they come out with the Obama Snow, makes sense. I'm gonna go for the Sidekick. It will do a lot of damage. So we do get a shield, okay. And now we're only in two Confusions away. Um, I thought this this was a little bit weird. I only counted up to around six um, powder snows, but somehow that was an energy ball, and it killed us, which is fine because we still have a good matchup here. Yep, we have Gengar matched up against the Machamp. We have the Obstacle matched up against the uh, Obama Snow, so this should be a game over. It's a regular Machamp, so you could actually tank a Rock Slide. You don't need to shield one at all. Um, so now we just go for this Shadow Punch. My opponent doesn't shield. I'm gonna go for another Shadow Punch just before they get to the Cross Chop. And they don't shield. So now I'm gonna go... I should throw my Sludge Bomb here because I'm not gonna get to another move. But um, this is also fine. <laughs> they actually called my bait. But I could just throw the Sludge Bomb to finish off. To guarantee to get that shield. But getting the HP is also fine because now that means I can just uh, counter down this Obama Snow all the way, right? And then it's a good game. Um, if they shielded, I was gonna throw the Night Slash, so I think it was a uh, game over at the end anyways. Let's see, next game we have Obstagoon versus Galvantula, okay. I don't think I have won a single game against a Galvantula lead. It's very tough for this team. Um, last season, I didn't see as much Galvantula leads, so I was doing a lot better. But this season, I'm starting to see a lot of Galvantula leads and even more uh, XL Pokemon in the back. So it's very, very scary for this team, unfortunately. Um, but Slowbro is still a lot of fun to play. My opponent got so many roll switches off. Um, a little unfortunate, a little unfortunate. He double shield, uh, he actually shields once. Um, so now he has two moves. I'm gonna go into Gengar. I think I'm gonna call the bait. Uh, the first one, I'm going to call it Lunge Bait. It is a lunge. And then they go for another move. I have to respect the dis Discharge because it will almost KO. But it was just another lunge. And now I'm just going to farm this uh, Galvantula all the way down. Let's see what they come out with. A Skarmory. I'm going to swap out to clear the debuff. And I think my opponent makes a huge mistake here by swapping to Swampert. Um, because Swampert has a really good matchup against my Gengar. They have no real reason to go into a uh, Swampert, um, but it is what it is. Uh, he kind of gave us a win condition, I guess. But as you guys are going to see, I think we still won't take this game because uh, we don't have Shadow Ball. We really need a Shadow Ball to hit um, 
to fight back against the um, the Skarmory. Here I think I'm gonna shield and attempt to farm this all the way down. Can we farm this all the way down? Okay, we do farm this all the way down. That's actually very nice. So if we had Shadow Ball here, I think we could actually win this one. Um, by going to my Gengar, one Shadow Ball and a Shadow Punch. Should be able to KO. Um, but as you guys are gonna see, I think they have a they might have a move already here. But I think we had enough energy. Yeah, we definitely had enough energy for a Shadow Ball and a Shadow Punch. Um yeah, that's very unlucky because we were only one Shadow Claw away from the last Shadow Punch in order to take this game. So if that I think I decided to change my sludge bomb to a Shadow Ball after this game because I want to hit back against those uh, steel types and also Swampert. Um here we see a Kindra lead. Kindra is very very good pick for Ultra League Premier Cup uh, because only Charm hits uh, Charm and uh, Dragons would hit super effect damage against uh, Kindra, and they have the uh, Octazuka, which is also very good for the debuffs. Let's see. Um, my opponent doesn't get the deb debuff, which is very lucky for us. I also called the Octazuka bait. They went for the outrage, probably KOs, and now. I'm gonna farm this Kindra all the way down. A nice, I have a nice slash stored, which is very nice. They go into a Venusaur. I think I just let my uh, obstacle go down. Actually, no. I guess go, I'm gonna go into my Slowbro. Uh, I'm gonna just attempt to farm this all the way down. Right. Uh, they have two frenzy plants. We CMP tied, so I'm gonna shield and get a shield back. If they throw another frenzy plant, I am going to. Um, Double shield and then farm this Venusaur down. Yep, I think I shield here, and I'm gonna farm this Venusaur down. Uh, turn out they had a Gengar in the back. Um, they threw right away, obviously because they don't want to tank more confusions. So there are four Shadow Claws away from the next move. Um, I could actually just go into my Gengar right here, but um, I think I went actually went into my Obstacle. Um, just to chip down the Gengar a little bit more, I guess. But um, so now he's five Shadow Claws away from it. Okay, yeah, I think that was actually a, a good play because um, if we went into our Gengar right away, they had enough health um, because they only needed four Shadow Claws to get to the um, the other Shadow Punch, and we might have lost. But fortunately, we I think we made the right play. And we were able to take that game. Here we're against a Excel Mana Buzz. A fully maxed out Houndo Mana Buzz. That thing is an absolute tank. And I really have no idea how to play against this matchup. I think I make a huge mistake in this game as well. Uh, let's see. Wow, that is insane. Mana Buzz is almost taking us out. Um, I'm going to go for the Hyper Beam. Um, they go for another Aerial Ace. I should farm this all the way down, but as you guys are going to see, I'm going to make a huge misplay. Ooh, I make a huge misplay. Yep. I swap into my slow bro, and now I am stuck against the Magnezone. And they throw right away. This is not good for me at all. Um, they do go for the wild charge right away. They do have residual energy as well. So I'm going to go into my obstacle here, I think. Yep. And I'm going to go for the nice slash. My opponent gets to another move. Uh, but now they're out of energy, so I'm gonna try to farm this all the way down. Do I farm this all the way down? Nope, they get to another wild charge. Uh, I do have to shield this wild charge. It will one hit KO, and I'm gonna farm it all the way down. I do have a lot of energy stored. Let's see what they have in the back. I think I make a huge mistake this game. Yeah, Galvantula, so I need to bait uh, two shields and then land a Shadow Ball because I changed my moveset to a Shadow Ball now. Um, let's see. I'm gonna shield this one. It's probably a launch, but I don't, I actually go for the discharge, which is a little bit weird. Um, if they just went for the launch, I think we're in the worst situation. Here, I go for a shadow punch. My opponent calls the bait, so now I really, really have to farm it all the way down. Um, but I didn't get the chance to. So I think my only win condition was going for the shadow ball. So I should have just gone straight for the shadow ball. But they still had a mana buzz in the back, and um, I'm not sure if my Shadow Claws was going to take out the mana buzz. So, unfortunate game. They had two very strong XL Pokemon, so not much we could do. 
here my opponent got two vol switches when I only got two counters. Um, I'm not sure how that happened, but so now they have enough for a focus blast. I'm gonna try to call the focus blast bait, and we call it successfully. So it was just a thunder punch. We um, we should shield the second one probably. We do have the buff. They go into Machamp. We're going to our slow bro right away. Here they get to a rock slide. Um, okay, so they're at eight counters. After this, should, they should be at one counter. And then they're five counters away. So one. Okay, five. This should be five counters. This should be a cross chop. But it was actually a rock slide. Okay. Okay, m maybe I missed a, a counter somewhere. But. That's fine, that's fine. Um, so now we're going to our Gengar, and they had Empoleon in the back. Oh, this is a game I make a massive misplay, I think. As you guys are going to see, I'm going to land the Shadow Ball, but I make a huge mistake. I try to snipe down, but my opponent swap out instantly after tanking the Shadow Ball. So now I'm stuck with the low health obstacle that will get farmed down by these Ampharos. Ampharos. So I should have just stayed in with my Gengar, but... Um, I didn't think my opponent was gonna swap out right away so fast. So, as you guys are gonna see, the Empoleon with zero health will actually get a move off um, to finish off my Gengar. So, uh, very bad misplay. I should have just stayed in with my Gengar. I didn't think my opponent was gonna swap out right away. So, uh, very smart play by my opponent. Uh, anticipating my swap as well. So here we have Obstagoon versus a Swampert. Um, Swampert is bad against uh, for our Gengar, so we do have to stay in this matchup. Um, I think I'm gonna try to catch a Hydro Cannon, the next Hydro Cannon with our Slowbro. Let's see. Go for a nice slash here. Do we get the boost? No boost. I'm gonna just gonna go for the next one uh, right away. Let's see. Okay, uh, I do have to, so in this team you do have to keep in mind that they might have a dark type Pokemon in the back. So in this case they do have a dark type Pokemon in the back, which is an XL Umbreon. And XL Umbreon is so tanky. Um, even if we take out this Umbreon, uh, even if this, after this Umbreon take us out, it will still have a lot of energy and we will still have trouble dealing with this Umbreon with my Obstagoon um, just because of how tanky this Umbreon is fortunately we got to two waterfalls uh, to chip down this um, Umbreon but still this is very very hard for the Obstagoon to take out even um, <laughs> oh man Umbreon is just such a tanky beast it makes me a little bit sad whenever I see uh, Umbreon that I have to deal with. Uh, my opponent makes a smart play here, I think. Oh, actually, he didn't swap out. I was, I thought he was going to swap out, which would be arguably worse. So Umbreon actually took us out there. Um, even though we're supposed to hard counter the Umbreon, but we weren't able to output enough damage to the Umbreon. Um, yeah, so we actually didn't take out the Umbreon. And at this point, I think... There's nothing a Gengar can do against their team. Let's see. They actually had a Galvantula in the back, so I'm just gonna leave the game. They had Galvantula XL and uh, Umbreon XL, and those two Pokemon absolutely destroy my team. Um, so, yeah, good game to my opponent. That was very, very, very tough. Okay, next up. Oops. Okay. So next game we have obstacle. Oh god, another Galvantula lead. Um, honestly, this game, this uh, this video feels like a, a showcase for uh, XL Galvantula at this point. It's such a strong Pokemon, um, and it beats a lot of teams. If you guys notice, like we the the five O that we got, we didn't see much XL. But whenever we started seeing XL, this team has. A little bit of trouble dealing with uh, the XLs. So, okay, Galvantulas. I did shield once. I also got a shield from my opponent, I believe. Yep. And I'm gonna try to catch a launch, but my opponent didn't throw. 
They had a Shadow Snorlax in the back, which is very good against my Gengar. Um, I'm gonna try to get to two Sludge Bombs if possible. I have Sludge Bombs here again. Um, I'm not sure when I swapped into Shadow Ball. Maybe, maybe I got the order wrong, but okay. Maybe I went back to Sludge Bomb uh, because Sludge Bomb uh, does have the coverage against the Snorlax. So I come back with my obstacle. I did have a nice slash stored. I'm gonna throw on the Snorlax. I have to let this go and then attempt to farm this all the way down. Um, but the Snorlax got a, a lot of energy, so this is very bad. They had an XL Politoed as well, so it's an, another XL. A little bit un unfortunate for us. Um, let's see. Oh, this is a game that I actually went back as well because I thought I, they gave us a win condition. Uh, I'm gonna shield an EQ that might one hit KO. So now I think they, they might go for uh, another EQ. But they actually throw here, which should be a weather ball. I think they're afraid of us getting to another move. Um, which kind of gives a win condition if we can farm this all the way down, but we are not able to farm this all the way down. Uh, even if we throw the Psychic, their Galvantula was at way too too high health for us to take out with our Soul Bro. So, good game. But uh, Politoed is so strong. Four must shots to get to a Weather Ball. That's so strong. But um, it is what it is. We do see a lot of XL Pokemon, unfortunately. Which um, which this team does have a little bit of trouble dealing with. But Soul Bro is so much fun to play. Um, and I, re I really enjoy these battles as well. Ooh, I tried to call a Focus Blast bait again, but my opponent went straight for the Focus Blast. Wow, that is insane. Uh, and I have to come into my Gengar, and I can't really over farm because they were going to get to another Thunder Punch. Um, I'm going to take that out. They have a Charizard in the back, which is actually not bad for us. Uh, so I think this is actually a non-XL team by my opponent. Let's see. I'm going to go bait with the Shadow Punch. And then I go into my Slowbro, which is a good response to the uh, Charizard. Here they had a Venusaur. I do have to shield once. And then I'm going to go for the Psychic to take out this Venusaur, I think. Uh, if the game lets us. Okay, the game does let us get the Psychic off. It was a little bit, uh, it was lagging for a little bit. Fortunately, we get this uh, Psychic off. And then we see this Charizard coming back. He's going to build up to double Blast Burn right here. Uh, I'm going to shield once. And I'm going to go for the Psychic. We, If we survive this Blast Burn, that is. And we do survive the Blast Burn. So, <laughs> alright. Um, Slowbro is an absolute beast. And we get the last shield. Now we just have to go for a Shadow Punch in order to KO this Charizard. So, good game to my opponent. Uh, I only won because we survived the uh, Blast Rain at the end, so very close. Here we're against uh, Jay Beach, also very strong player. Battle him a lot of times, uh, he's very very strong. He has a Shadow Dragon Knight lead, uh, which is also kind of tough for this team, because Shadow Dragon Knight actually beats Obstagoon, while the normal Dragon Knight loses to Obstagoon. So, um, I'm just gonna let this go and try to get a shield advantage, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to let the, my obstacle go and uh, grab the shield advantage. Um, and then I'm going to attempt to farm down. I Actually, I swap out. Okay, interesting. I swap out into my Slowbro to catch a Dragon Claw to absorb the damage. Um, they had a Raichu. I'm going to go for this Water Pulse right away to chip down this uh, Raichu. But I think he's going to farm me all the way down anyways. Because he he resists the the confusion that we have, um, which uh, which is not great for us. He has double wild charges at this point. I'm gonna tank the first wild charge with my Obstagoon. Um, it's actually just a Thunder Punch, and then I'm, I could actually farm down with my Gengar. Now it's looking really good, depending on what they have in the back, right? Uh, we have a Shield Advantage. They had an S Cavalier in the back, and. Gengar is a very solid response against a Cavalier if you have shields. So that is uh, that is the situation here. We are up two shields. We can. Um, I'm gonna throw the Shadow Punch to force my opponent's last shield, and then I think I just farm all the way down. Yeah, he's not gonna get to another uh, move. He has double Drill Run here, but what we can do is two shield my Gengar at this point, right? 
Um, and their Dragonite was out of energy because they threw the Dragon Claw earlier against my uh, Slowbro. They come out with the uh, Dragonite. I'm just going to throw this right away. I don't want to risk it. I know that uh, I know that the Ash Cavalier didn't have any energy. So good game to my opponent. Here again we have, oh god, Obstagoon against Calvantula XL. This matchup makes me, oh god. This matchup really makes me sick because it just beats my entire team kind of. Uh, besides my Gengar obviously. And I really don't have a solid response against this um, Galvantula. It's so tanky in Ultra League. Unlike in Grey League, you could actually chip down a lot of energy. Um, here I'm going to catch a lunge with my Gengar and save the Night Slash on my Obstagoon. They come up with the Swampert. Um, yeah, so now I don't have Shadow Ball anymore. Um, not great, not great. I'm going to go for the Shadow Punches. It's debuffed, so it doesn't do as much damage. Here my opponent gets off a move, gets perfect farm, basically, and then throw this Hydro Cannon to KO us. I still have a nice slash sword. I need this Swampert out of here as soon as possible. I still have to deal with a Galvantula XL that is very very annoying for my team to deal with. Uh, but fortunately they don't have energy on the Galvantula, right? Yep, so they come out with Galvantula. Um, I have to farm this all the way down. They should only get off one move. Let's see, it's a lunge. Uh, they're both super effective, so he might as well go for the lunge. And they had an Umbreon in the back, XL again. So I'm just gonna leave the match. Um, very tough, very tough for us. Here we have Obstagoon and Bombasnow, XL. Uh, it's actually a very good lead. XL, Obamasnow is really tanky, but um, they're gonna chip it down, and then they might go into a fighter, like a lot of people like to do. So I'm going to go for a nice slash here, uh, before they get to the next weather ball, right? So yep, they get to another weather ball, but we should tank two weather balls, and then we should farm this all the way down. But my opponent tried to snipe me down again with yet another Machamp, and I make an instant swap into Slowbro um, to farm down this Machamp completely, unless they have payback, in which case then, you know, if they pay back me, then they pay back me, right? Um, they get off another move. This should just be a cross chop. Um, they could have probably gotten into the rock slide because it's a, a regular Machamp. As we saw earlier, the regular Machamp got to a rock slide, a second rock slide. Um, so they come out with a Bomba Snow again. I I'm just gonna throw the energy that I stored from the full farm down. Uh, we take out the um, the Bomba Snow, and they had a Dribblem in the back. Now I'm just going to go for this uh, another Psychic. The three Hexes didn't kill us. And I'm going to go into my Obstacle right away. Trying to grab the last shield or get a lot of health. Uh, because with uh, with a Gengar, all we have to do is like chip down this uh, Dribblem a lot. And then um, we should be able to take out this Dribblem. It's actually an XL Dribblem as well. He leveled a, a Hundo all the way up to uh, 100. Here I'm going to go for this uh, Shadow Punch. Uh, my opponent throws a move here. The only way for him to win is somehow land the Shadow Ball, so I'm just going to shield. Uh, they went for the Shadow Ball. That was their only win, win condition for us not to shield. So good game to my opponent. Um, next up, let's see. Obstagoon. Um, yeah, XL Pokemon. A lot of XL Pokemon are pretty tough for this team, unfortunately. But I do have a new team idea that I will uh, cover for my next video um, that I think will be very good against some of the XL Pokemon, but we'll get to that when the time comes. Uh, here we have Obstagoon versus a Gyarados. I think I generally stay in this matchup. Uh, I might try to catch a walk Aqua Tail with my Slowbro. Um, let's see. I go for two double Night Slashes. Here I could... Okay, here they have double Aqua Tails. So what I'm thinking is I want to swap into my Slowbro, right? Yeah, trying to catch a Aqua Tail. But my opponent is super smart. And he saw we came in with a, a Psychic type. So he went for the... Um, he went for it. 
And then they came out with the Gengar. Yeah, they went for the Crunch, which did a lot of damage, which allowed this uh, Gengar to get to the Shadow Punch um, to kill us. Here, actually, I think this I want to pulse here a little bit. Here, we, um, I want you guys to notice that they let the Gyarados go down. That means they still have their Switch Clock, right? They still have their Switch Clock. Well, we swap out into our Slowbro, so we don't have our Switch Clock. In this case, if we come in with Obstagoon, we can't swap out. And if they come in with a fighter against our Obstagoon, our Obstagoon is just going to get farmed down all the way. So I'm thinking that they might have a fighter in the back. And the safer option for me is trying to go into my Gengar and farm the opponent Gengar all the way down. And as you guys are going to see, my opponent had the same idea. We go into our Gengar and my opponent instant swap into my champ, thinking that we're going to go into Obstagoon. Because Obstagoon is very good against... Um, uh, the Gengar, right? So my opponent had the same idea, but fortunately, uh, we we did uh, we made the correct move going to Gengar, and um, we we're able to take that game. So yeah, good game to my opponent, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed these battles. I think these battles are still a lot of fun, even though the XL Pokemon are just absolutely destroying my team, um, this team. But we still win positive overall, and we still got a five bro. Um, I think we're just a few points off 2500s MMR. So, yeah, this team definitely could still work depending on what uh, Pokemon, what meta you're seeing. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed these battles. I hope you guys enjoy the bro. Um, and make sure you hit the like button and comment below on what you want to see next. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video.